The container-based facility brings to the country's referral hospital a breath of fresh air, giving life to the sick. This includes admissions to the wards for severe COVID-19 infections. As uh, we have all seen in the recent pandemic, or in the current pandemic, and the a number of surges we have had in the country and, and especially here in the city. The demand for oxygen uh, has, has increased almost by 180%. I have just been informed this plant can generate about 150 cylinders, those G-sized cylinders in a day. The oxygen generation plant was established to help cater for the current needs. It's a partnership in health that hopes to save more lives. We normally use about 500 cylinders in one week in the entire hospital without COVID. But since the emergence and the surges we've had in COVID, especially this current surge, uh, with the increasing number of patients requiring oxygen, our demand for oxygen has gone, uh, you know, initially started with like, you know, 50 cylinders in a day, just for COVID alone, to almost 200 cylinders in one day. And that's just for COVID alone. So the, the demand has really, uh, really gone up. And, and, we, and in, in the midst of all of this, we need to maintain you know, essential care, other essential cares, not just COVID alone. And At Port Mosby General Hospital, more lives continue to be lost to this dreaded illness. In PNG, 370 people have already died from COVID-19. We are, we are now into the seven, probably eight weeks of the surge. And so, I think we have, uh, and from the testing rates, positivity rates that we have had to date, um, we are seeing that uh, we perhaps have passed the middle of the search period and uh, we're, we're heading uh, downwards. But it's going to be a slow process going downwards because so many people uh, have fallen sick. Many have died, unfortunately. Uh, but that is the situation. And so we are going to continue to support and meet, you know, plan to meet those demands. Uh, the hospital director for medical services says there are plans in future to supply some of the oxygen to other facilities that need them. Bradley Valenaki, National MTV News.